Tonight, a family left with an aching heart after their son left to the Taylor Swift concert Friday night and didn't come home. A man is now charged with the crash that caused his death. Gerald Harris joins us live from the Harris County Jail. Gerald, HPD says that driver tried to leave the scene. Yeah, and that driver is currently being charged with failure to stop and render aid, a felony. Tragically gone too soon. And now the end is near. And so I face the final curtain. According to Houston police, 20 year old Jacob Lewis and his sister were driving home after Taylor Swift's concert at Energy Stadium when they began having car trouble Friday night into Saturday morning. You know, they had car trouble on the freeway. It's the middle of the night. Um, they were they, they got over to the shoulder. There's a nearby exit. My son got out to push the car to the exit. These are all normal things that people do. Um, and unfortunately, they were uh, almost immediately hit. 34 year old Alan Bryant Hayes is in custody at the Harris County Jail. You know, to make it worse, the driver got out, helped my daughter get my son out from under his car saw what, what had happened and got in his car and left. According to Houston police, a tow truck driver in the area saw Hayes and followed him to Caroline Street before police were able to take him into custody. Well, I hope that everybody who knew Jacob was touched by him and he was, you know, a good part of their life. Jacob was a longtime lover of musical theater from sixth grade onward, and he liked video games and storytelling. And as a younger kid, he was a competitive Pokemon game player, qualifying for the world championship three times. And more, much more than this, I did it my And I'm told KDISD is setting up a scholarship fund in the name of Jacob Lewis following this tragic incident in downtown Houston. Gerald Harris, KHOU 11 News. Gerald, thank you. Our thoughts with that family tonight.